Hey guys, let's let's see what Chapter Two is about. It's a man out there, Jacqueline. The Pipers want revenge for Chad. Chad Lickman's death, and they don't care. It gets hard in the progress. Jacqueline, if you don't, if you don't get that no good Jones off his ass and on that killer's trail, I swear there'll be trouble. I mean it, Major. No. You're you're a good element. But if you fail this case, I'll have to be I'll be working I'll have you both working in Ramirez. Now go tell Jones. So why did King want to see you? Yeah, he really he said all that? Yep, he he threatened us with the motion if we don't solve this and he called you lazy. Jones, Jacqueline, a certain Miss Cassidy is here and wants to speak to you. You'll be right there, Ramirez. Hey, Ramirez isn't that bad. Hold on a second, Jacqueline. I think you should go sleep at the crime scene. I'm looking for something that could ignite gasoline. Matches. Lighters. You get the idea. We'll try our best, Nathan. Well, Major Jacqueline, what should we start with? Rose or the security post? I think since we have the stars, we should talk with Cassie since she's here before we go. I really need to speak with Major Jacqueline. Before Chad died, he was trying to leave his gang and start a new life. He was desperately looking for a real job. While cleaning up, I found this job out of her and he seemed pretty excited about. It's but that he died. I'm pretty sure that I'm, I'm pretty sure that because I remember him spilling his coffee on it. I hope this helps you catch a killer before the vipers do. I want them to meet justice, not violence. Yep. This advert could be a great lead, but this coffee stain makes it almost unreadable. Jacqueline, can you make sense of this job identification number? Sure. Okay, so that's a K. It's not KFC. This is a. That's clearly a Y. S will be a 7 or a T. Looks like it's a 7. Yep, we got it. Amazing work, Jacqueline. You made sure to kill the job after its identification number. Now it's up to Alex to see where it leads. So let's give this to Alex. And, excuse me. Yeah. Have a little air in my stomach. Don't even think about flirting with us, Alex, when we come to get it back. Because we are not interested. Okay, so here's a thing. Oh, a cigarette butt kit totally. Yeah, it was, I think it's a cigarette butt. Partial shoe print is right there. That's another clue. And let's see, there should be a 911. There it is. By the way, I'm a huge fan of the Sean Fox 911. And I don't think 911 has any official spelling. Like the dash or anything. Jacqueline, this shoe print is very is barely visible. But on the other hand, Alex can work some miracles, and maybe he'll start maybe we'll get something out of it. And about the cigarette butt, let's examine it to see if it could be one of it could be of interest in Nathan. And and what is this big baby doing here? What is that I'm gonna try and redo Big Baby's voice. But yeah, let's Get this started. Big Baby, this is a crime scene. What do you think you're doing here? It's hard to be mad at someone with a name like Big Baby. Looking for my own clues prove it was the skulls that you ain't killed Chad. I always wanted to be a detective ever since I was a kid. Oh yeah? And what stopped you? I hate cops. <laughs> 
you should probably check out Officer 401's YouTube channel. He's he managed to befriend felons. Beat it before we before you give another reason to hate us. And I hope for your sake that is the back of your the back of your smoking. Yeah, well, you just keep calm the fuck down. Yeah, well, for a gang that hates cops, so much they sure do keep us close. Well, if you look at the stuff that happened before I, the Internal Affairs Bureau was established, I don't exactly blame them. Let's just check out the cigarette. I think it's like another one of these ones, which I kind of hate. Great job, Jacqueline. Let's hope these molecules we found on a cigarette are some are some use to Nathan. Let's see. You know, I was hoping I would be able to finish this whole chapter in one go, but I guess not. Let's see when the results are in. Okay, so I got eight stars, you know, the results are in. Results. The work ad. That Chad was looking was looking at is a clerk job at the local mini mart. Here's the address. I can't believe it. This is Joe Stern's shop, and he's right across the street from the crime scene. That's suspicious. Jacqueline, do you remember Joe? He was a suspect in a corpse in a garden. One of your very first cases. You've come a long way since, Major. Yeah, I don't think I was able to replay that one. Come on, Jacqueline. Let's go catch up with Joe. See what he's been up to. Oh, you should probably get the rest of these. Let's see about the footprint. You didn't have much of a shoe print to work with. But I did manage to find out what type of shoe it is. Your, real, your killer wears sports shoes. Jeez, Alex. How long did it take you to find that out? So, Jacqueline, who do we know with, with sports shoes? There's Rose and with her red trainers. And I remember Troy also has red trainers. Oh, and then there's big baby stupid blue ones. Shoes are shoes, man. Well, it's a good start. Keep your eyes open, Jacqueline. And I will. Let's see about this molecule, man. The molecules who took off the cigarette matched the gas, match the gas molecules taken off of the victim's body. This proves that th this is the cigarette that was used to ignite the gasoline that burnt Chad, which means your killer smokes. Yeah, we already managed to figure that out. Nicely done, Nathan. Well, Jacqueline, we're definitely getting closer. We already got bored the things. Okay, Joe. I'm gonna give you a sketchy voice. I got a job app I got a lot of job applications, but a chat from a Chad Wickman? I don't think so. And I'm sorry, but the applications I don't like I throw away. Have you seen anybody suspicious come into your shop lately? Apart from the Viper Gang who continues to vandalize my shop and steal from me every single day? Hmm, no. The police department is here to help you, Joe. But if you don't tell us, we can't help you. Now, would you mind if we take a look around your shop? Sure, just don't steal anything. Gonna 
I'm gonna turn the volume freaking load. Okay, so we got a baseball shirt. Oh, the Denmark flag, that's cool. Oh, and a matchbox. No, that's not the thing. It's a catcher seat. Okay, now where's the trash can? That might have clues in it. Yep, it's got clues. And some scissors. To cut red tape. I think the scissors are sticking out of something. But, oh, yeah, there's a dollar sign. Oh, there they are. There's not, nothing here. Is it okay if we, go, if we search through the trash? Sorry, for a moment I thought you were cops, not trash collectors. But yeah, go right ahead if that's what you like. Major Jacqueline, be sure to pinch your nose. Well, surprise, bitch. I can't smell anything. Because this is a video game. And video games aren't that advanced yet. You know, about a week ago, I actually got some cans to get a little bit of pocket change, and I ended up getting $11 by mistake by taking some by taking some plastic bottles and aluminum cans to get to the recycling center, and I got $11. Jackpot! A job application from Chad Lickman. At least. At least, it, this at least shows he was here, and seeing how Joe hates the Vipers, I doubt he'd even read the, the job application. Never even gave chance, never even, never even gave chance, had a chance at, at an honest life. But then again, I don't think Joe's nice to anybody. And don't you think someone's, don't you think for someone selling anti-dandruff shampoo, he tried the product? You know, you know what? The Troy guy has the Android too. Jacqueline, let's go take a closer look at the me at the mess. Troy keeps speaking his sis keeps speaking in his sister's kitchen. See if he's not hiding anything. What the hell are you doing here? It's not, not that it's anything to do with you, but we came to search the studio. No way, I don't allow cops in my house. This isn't even your home. And stop wasting our time. I suggest you do something about that, your dandruff man. I mean, really. Yeah, insulting people is a great way to make them cooperate. Oh, look at Tabby. So, cereal. This, this. And a scarf. T Rex, that's always cool. Is there a clue in a milk carton? What about a little monster that's hiding somewhere? What? Well, yeah, there's nothing. But, Jacqueline, you're telling me about nothing? Not one thing? This is a first. Huh. Well, don't worry, Jacqueline. I guess Rose tried cleaned up a little too well. Now let's see if Troy's calmed down. Okay. Let's see what you have to say. Can't you just give me a break? I mean it. Don't you cops ever give up? No. If you want us to leave you alone, all you need to do is cooperate. Fine. Look, man, I, I heard the Viper gang leader, Salvador Corrado, he likes dousing his victims in gasoline and set him on fire. Right, I've said my piece, now you better get out and give me my own piece. Even if Troy is lying about Salvador, I think it's a perfect excuse to finally go meet him. What do you think, Major Jacqueline? Let's do it. He does have an alleged M.O. This guy looks like Danny Trejo, but with blue eyes. 
I think those are green eyes. <laughs> yeah, they're green eyes. That's the one the thing. You're kidding? Of course I knew Chad. I'm trying to quit the gang. Now it's all planned. Then Chad go live with this girl. Let was well, like sending Troy a big fuck you with a bow on it. I knew it would make him mad. I wanted to kill I wanted Troy to kill Chad. I've been wanting a reason to go to war with him. Now I've got one. I don't know if you're stupid or fearless, but you're doing a pretty good job at incriminating yourself, Salvador. As a cockroach like as if a cockroach like you could never put be behind bars. Good luck with that pig. Hey, guess what? Pigs have a dual su human organs can be transplanted into human or into human bodies. I just forgot the technical term for it. You really sell Lurk and terrorize the streets easy enough, but you can't get rid of Deandra. He's got his priorities all wrong. And I've never seen someone smoke so many cigarettes in so little time. That was just freaky. You should have seen my uncle when when our horse had a baby. He smoked like a chimney. And that's where we're gonna leave. And guess I'll see you guys in the next chapter.